avoid the Darjeeling, Darjeeling station. It just isn't fair. Darjeeling, Darjeeling station. I'm never gonna get out of here. I'm avoid the Darjeeling, Darjeeling station. On the line, Darjeeling, Darjeeling station. I pick up some power converters. Welcome back everyone, it is I, the Oscar nominated a-hole, the a-hole who is sometimes sort of a troll, and today we're going to be talking about the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer number two, and my thoughts on it. Now, it cannot be understated that my love and appreciation for the character of Mysterio is definitely high up there. One of my favorite villains in the Spider-Man universe. And because of this, I generally, as a kid, would draw him and trace him and constantly want to be talking about him. Now, I was also a fan of him not only in the comics, but as well as in Spider-Man 2, the video game from the Xbox and PS2 day. I had it on Xbox, and I love the game, still have it, play it every now and then, probably once a year. Uh, it's a great game, it's fun, interesting, interactive, good storytelling. Uh, Tobey Maguire voices it, and a couple of the other return, uh, cast returns to uh, voice it as well. Now, what do I think about this trailer? Well, as it clearly states on my title card, it has one thing going for it, and that is Mysterio. In this trailer, Mysterio looks extremely, extremely epic and just fucking badass. I mean, this guy looks amazing. The detail work, the, the comics accuracy of the character, it's just fantastic. That's pretty much all I can really say positive. I wanted Mysterio to look really cool, he is really cool, now I know a lot of you out there are going to say, Endgame was it for me, I'm done. And hey, I feel the same way. I wasn't a fan of Spider-Man Homecoming, I'm not going to probably be a fan of Spider-Man Far From Home, but I gotta say, this has, in my opinion, a better looking villain than the Vulture, just through the appearance alone. Though I would not put Jake Gyllenhaal on the same skill of Michael Keaton, uh, I'm pretty sure most of us can agree with that. But in the case of costume design, he does look a lot cooler. And I have a lot more of a connection with Mysterio than I was with Vulture. Vulture I always saw as this old cranky guy in a bird suit. With Mysterio, he was just always interesting and uh, conniving. You never knew what he was going to do. You never knew what he was going to say. You never knew what was going to happen, what was his scheme, what was his, you know, end game, uh, if you will. The one problem I have with this and it's probably gonna be the reason why I'm gonna hate this movie more than any other Spider-Man film, or at least put it on the same level as The Amazing Spider-Man 2, is that it seems as though this movie is going to try their best to push the Mary Jane and Peter Parker narrative. Now, I don't care about romance. I think that Spider-Man 1 and 2, and even 3, uh, are the best Spider-Man films, and if not, some of the best uh, superhero films that has ever been created. And my reason for that is because I love the drama and the romance and the relationships between the characters, specifically Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. And the problem is, though, in my opinion, is the fact that they transform Mary Jane into another person entirely just for woke SJW diversity points. And not just that, but just her whole social character is totally different. Mary Jane was supposed to be the beautiful girl next door, very popular, everyone liked her, she hung out with the popular crowd, and, you know, Peter Parker was the nerdy kid. It's kind of like a male fantasy, you know? You're, you're a nerd, but you want to be with, like, the most popular girl in school. You get the superpowers, you get the girl, you know, you get to live this life, but at the same time, you have to learn the responsibility that those powers and being with her, with that type of a girl, inflicts upon you. And... That's what I liked about Spider-Man, and I'm pretty sure a large majority of people would have to agree with that. And the fact that they changed her into this kind of nerd and dorky, quiet, social outcast, which is totally the opposite of what Mary Jane is supposed to be. She's, uh, you know, kind of have that woke diversity points. So she's wearing, she doesn't have the bright red hair, and she's not, pale, she's not a, you know, pale, pale white skin. No, she's the exact opposite of what she is in the comic books. Why? Because woke diversity points and if you say anything against it you're automatically racist even though you just want to be comic book accurate right you know let's make Mysterio look comic book accurate let's let spider-man be comic book accurate but uh let's just not ma let mary jane who is the single biggest driving force in peter parker's life after the death of his parents yeah let the, let's oh or the, or the death of uncle ben um let that be changed completely not even visually, but sociologically, too, on a sociological, economical scale. Let's just change her entirely. She is completely the opposite of who she's supposed to be. She's not MJ. That is not Mary Jane. Um, as much as people want to crap on her, uh, Kirsten Dunst 
was a far better Mary Jane Watson. Uh, sure, she might not have delivered her lines quite as well. Uh, maybe she didn't, you know, she wasn't the best actress in Hollywood, obviously, but she was a pretty darn good Mary Jane. And when I saw her, I was like, yeah, that's the girl next door. That's the popular girl. That's the girl who would be around all the cool jocks. That's the girl that a nerd would look at and go, dang, I really want to be with her because she's hot. And I would not mind, you know, banging her every now and then. Or, you know what? In Peter Parker's case, he was in love with her. He was infatuated with her ever since he can remember her. So, you know, in his case, it was, I want to be with this girl for the rest of my life. And I could understand that. I could see that. But with this Mary Jane, I'm like, why would you want to? Like, I could understand, like, a quick high school fling, but, you know, that's it. Like, I can't see, like, a long-term relationship with this form of Mary Jane. Quote-unquote Mary Jane. That's my one biggest problem with the film. And then we get a Grace Randolph segment. Because you all know how much I love Grace Randolph. I watch her because I like hearing differing opinions, and sometimes she says certain things that I'm like, okay, I kind of agree with that, I kind of like that, you know? I try to listen to the people I dislike so that I can, you know, I, I don't want to be in an echo chamber like California and Hollywood is um, in Silicon Valley. So I want to, you know, hear differing opinions and differing views. But this literally literally got got my blood boiling um grace randolph in her video she made a trailer reaction for spider-man far from home uh, trailer 2 reaction and then she made a second one talking about the multiverse which was uh put into the trailer um and if you want to go watch that this is at the very beginning of the video and if you're anything like me who has logical reasonable thought processes you also will go Roll of, roll of the eyes and a, oh my god, Grace, seriously? Why did you say that? Why? Anyways, the reason why uh, that, that my blood was boiling was because Grace Randolph said that uh, Spider-Man uh, uh, Into the Spider-Verse was a, was a movie about the multiverse, and apparently uh, the box office wasn't as large as she wanted it to be. And so... And because it had an Oscar win, she's like, oh yeah, that's great and everything, but you know, it really needed to make like a billion dollars at the box office, like in her little world, um, because apparently the, I think it made like 300 something million dollars, which was pretty good, you know, chunk of change for like a, a comic book movie that's set in animation. And she's like, <clears throat> and she was like, no, you know, if People, people didn't like that movie because of the fact of the multiverse. Okay, Grace. Yeah, that, that's the one reason why people didn't want to go see that film was because of the multiverse. You got us. Raise your hands up. We, oh, you got us, Grace. You got us. That's the reason why we didn't want to go see it was because of the multiverse. That had nothing to do with it. Um, and she was like, well, you know, and, and get this. This is what she actually said. She was like, if this... If people, moviegoers, go and see Spider-Man Far From Home and accept the multiverse um, proposition and are, like, fine with it, then it makes them look bad. And she kind of emphasized of, hey, moviegoers, you shouldn't like this film because of that, because... If you didn't like the multiverse of Spider-Man Far From... Uh, uh, Spider-Man um, Into the Spider-Verse, because she said this, because... <laughs> of a brighter character. Brighter. Brighter. Is, is that the NSJW term, Grace Randolph? We all know what you mean by brighter. It means white. And, Grace, you know you know what that means, right? If you're excluding a certain race from another race and comparing them like that, and, and all that, you know, you know what that's called, Grace? That's called racism, Grace. Oh my gosh. Grace Randolph, what is wrong with you? You are a smart, intellectual woman. You know what, you know, you know Hollywood. You know data and numbers. What is going on with you? The reason why people didn't like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, at least a large majority, and people didn't really go see it, and, the, and didn't make that much money at the box office, was because people, when they want to go see a Spider-Man film, it's because they want to see Peter Parker. They want to see Peter Parker Spider-Man. They don't want to see any other version of it. I went and saw Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. I didn't think it was a terrible movie. I think it was far better than The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. And I would put it on the same level as Homecoming. Uh, uh, it was okay. You know, it was a fun watch for what it was. And I was kind of done with it after that. I'm, they didn't push any SJW social narrative in it. They didn't talk about, uh, uh, you know, police brutality or any of that garbage. Um, they just made it 
a solid story with a good emotional piece and, and a character study between uh, a dad and his son and his uncle. I thought it was really good. I thought it was a, you know, practical movie. I thought it was good. And I don't want to watch it again, but it was okay. And I didn't care about the multiverse stuff. I'm totally fine with multiverse. I love Fringe. Fringe has multiverses in it. I'm cool with I'm cool with parallel realities. I'm pretty sure most people who are into sci-fi are totally okay with multiverses and parallel realities. Um, but then again, Grace Randolph, you have to understand, a lot of those characters that came out of that multiverse in, uh, in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse were mostly characters that aren't that popular and people really don't care about. But if you have a MCU movie in the MCU with Spider-Man Peter Parker... With Mysterio in a multiverse, a lot more people are going to be more accepting of it. Not because he's white. It's because he's white, everyone. It's a white man. That's why everyone likes it. It's because it's a whitey. Not because it's a diverse... It's a diverse person. It's not because of that. <laughs> why? It's good. It's because of the fact of the characters. People are more connected to Peter Parker. We have been with him longer. Miles Morales has been around for what, maybe a decade? People really don't care about Miles Morales as much as they care about Peter Parker Spider-Man. And Shirley Grace Randolph, you are a comic book fan and you should know this because I know you have logic, reasoning, and understanding. Come on, Grace, we know it. We know you can do it. Think, just think for once in your life. Please do not put race into it. Do not put sex into it. Do not put gender into it. Do not put any of this garbage into it because that doesn't matter. The large majority of America don't give a flippin' flying fuck about any of that. They care about story. They care about character. They care about personality. They care about people that they have been connected to all their lives. They do not care about the fact that, oh, they didn't like, a multi they didn't like that multiverse because it was led by a black person. No, no one thought that, Grace. No one thought that. And if there was maybe one person who did, he was part of the KKK, and he lives in southern Alabama. I mean, come on, grow up. No one thinks that way. Oh my god, Grace, grow up. You are what, in your 30s to 40s? Act like it. Act like your age, Grace. Think for once. Use a brain cell. Come on. Anyways, I'm sorry for my rant. It ticked me off that, you know... Oh, people will accept it because it's a white boy. Because it's a brighter character. Oh, whatever. Oh, fuck you, Grace. Fuck you. I hope... Just... Fuck you. I don't, I don't even... I don't, even I don't hope for anything for you. I hope that you think for once in your life. I hope you grow up and act like, a, and act like an adult in your thought process. And your people who comment on your videos, who praise you and worship you. Oh, a, a Grace Randolph video. Oh my god, it's the greatest thing of all time. Like, like, no, it's not the greatest thing of all time. But, you know, it is interesting to hear her perspective because she's in part of the industry. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm sorry for my rant. <laughs> Tell me what you guys thought about the trailer down below. Uh, or any of your thoughts in general. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We hit 100 subs. I'm extremely uh, happy about that. Thank you for your support. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Well, I was going into our sheet station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Come on. Well, I was going into our sheet station to pick up some power converters.